Hi, I'm Rachel with Easy Peasy Meals, and today I'm going to show you how to make Zoodle Shrimp Scampi. It's shrimp scampi with zucchini noodles. It's healthy, delicious, and gluten-free. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our zucchini noodles. And I have this awesome spiralizer, and I just got it on Amazon. In fact, when you go on my site for this recipe, I will have a link to where I bought it. So you just put it on your spiralizer like this, and you choose your blade and then you spin. It's super simple to do, and it has these cute little suction-y feet that help it stay in place. I still like to hold it just to make sure, but it's really convenient. And let's go ahead and get them in our bowl. So we're gonna spiralize four zucchini so that we have enough for some adults to eat this dinner. When you spiralize, you're gonna end up with this like center core piece. You can chop that up and add it to your dish if you want, or you can throw it away. It's like the seeds part. I usually just chop it up and add it in. Now we're going to start cooking. I'm going to start by adding two tablespoons of butter to my pan, and about three tablespoons of minced garlic. It's a lot of garlic. It's shrimp scampi. Garlic is delicious and scampi. And just a bit of uh, red pepper flakes. And this is adjustable to your heat preference, so if you guys don't want any spice, then scale back on that. But you do want a little for the flavor it gives. So stir it around. When the butter is almost all the way melted and your, um, and your minced garlic has had a chance to roast in that butter for a second, maybe like a minute, then you're going to add in your shrimp. And I like a pound to a pound and a half of clean, deveined, medium-sized shrimp. So then you're gonna add your shrimp in and you're gonna wait till it gets just heaped up so two to three minutes of sauteing it in your butter and garlic. It doesn't take very long, which is one of the reasons I love this meal. It's literally one of those 20 minute meals that's healthy, tastes gourmet, but can come together quick on a busy weeknight like tonight. While your shrimp is cooking, I would suggest juicing a lemon. You need one lemon juice, and I've already done that. I've got some here, and then you need the zest of lemon. Now we're going to add in a fourth a cup of stock. Now I love using seafood stock and Swanson's makes a really great one, but you can use chicken stock or um, homemade stock, vegetable stock. If you're a vegetarian or a pescatarian, then um, you could use a, um, a vegetable stock if you want. So you're gonna add in about a fourth of a cup of that, the juice of one lemon, which ends up being a tablespoon or two, and the zest of one lemon. So we're going to zest one lemon, and one trick with zesting is to always zest directly into whatever pan you're cooking in, because one of the beauties of zest is the oils that are in the lemon skin that you want spraying into your pan. If you zest into a bowl and then move over, you'll lose a lot of those oils. So just zest the outside of one lemon right into your pan, and you're gonna get that fresh lemon flavor that's just so amazing and gives this that like light, delicious taste. Once you're done zesting, you're going to go ahead and bring this up to a simmer like it is now, if you're not there. And then you'll add in a little salt and pepper to your preference. And then it's time to go ahead and add in your zoodles. Now these do not take very long to cook, which is one of the reasons I love this meal. Zucchini noodles cook quick, and they'll cook down, so it looks like a ton right now, but it's gonna cook down and not be very much when you get done with it. So you put your lid on, and let it steam for a couple minutes. While the zoodles are steaming, I'm going to mince my herbs. So I've got some fresh basil, which is not traditional in scampi, but I love basil. And I'm using the crisp herb mincer. Look how quick and easy this is, you guys. You can do it both ways if you want it smaller. And now we're gonna go ahead and chop our parsley. Now I do not love parsley. It's like pretty much the only dish I like it in is scampi. So I'm using not a ton of parsley. Maybe um, two tablespoons worth. And then we're going to use some grated Parmesan cheese. These are for the top of our dish to add some yummy flavor with the garnish. Now that these have been steaming for a little bit, I'm going to stir them up to get that um, nice sauce we made coated all over our zoodles. I'm gonna sprinkle on some Parmesan, about two tablespoons. If you love Parmesan, add extra. 
and then some of our fresh herbs. This, is, this just looks so amazing, you guys. I love this. It's one of my favorite meals. We are ready to plate. I'm just going to grab these delicious noodles and some shrimp, that's my favorite, and you're done. So this is my Zoodle Shrimp Scampi. You're going to love it. Healthy, easy 20-minute meal. Have fun. Make it at home. Thank you very much.